Hello. Hello. I had to clear something off my screen then. There was something that popped up that said, trying to take me off of the app. So I just had to clear it off. So I'm here. Hello. It's Tuesday. It is 2 p.m. in the afternoon in the UK. And that means I'm live on the Dixieville YouTube channel. Um, so I'll jump straight in. I know there's a little bit of a lag on YouTube from where I press go live and it actually physically does go live. So I tend to waffle for the first couple of minutes because I know that um, it doesn't it doesn't actually kick in straight away. So <coughs> I try not to cover anything too important in the first minute or so. Anyway, here I am. I am Connie. I am a furniture painter. And I'm also a Dixie Belle brand ambassador. And I'm still full of cold. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Whatever this is, it's like a mega cold. So, um, the cough is pretty much gone. But I'm still, still all here. Hi, Jackie. Hello. Um, so, hello. Uh, last week, what did we do last week? I can't even remember what we did last week. But... What I do remember is me talking about Terra Tough. And everyone was like, what? What's this? Tell us, show us, show, show us more. So I thought I would really quickly show you how to, what Terra, well, not even how to use Terra Tough. It's, um, I sound terrible. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't feel terrible. I just, I just, I just can't shake this cold. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd show you Terra Tough. I'd show, I'd show you what I'm up to. I'm actually recording this video for um, a little YouTube video that will be on the candlesticks last week. That's right. How could I forget? I've only just staged them yesterday. How did I even forget? So I was talking about Terra Tough. I mentioned it on my live and everyone was like, what's this? Terra Tough? What? Show us. Hello? What? Because, obviously... People have their favourite products. They have products that they find easier to use than other products. Personally, I love wax. I know loads of people that don't like wax. Loads of people that don't like wax. Each to their own. Um, you said it with kindness, Jackie. Well, I didn't take it with kindness, so... Um, yeah, so everybody has their favourite products. Now, as Terra was released... Obviously, there was supposed to be a wax that was released with it. There's been some issues with production. So that hopefully will come one day. But until then, I was determined to find something that worked because I absolutely love clay paint. I love Terra. I love the colours. I love the effects that it can give. It just works really well with the kind of style that I like creating. So I tried a few things and Terra Tough, which is here, is one of the things that has worked so well so you've got to be really careful with clay paint in terms of what top coat you put on because it doesn't behave the same as other paints and if you want me to I can do a little live on Terra and show you kind of what I do with it um but it's a really fun kind of artistic paint you can get loads of cool finishes with it distressing layering blending you name it you can do it and that's not to say you can't do that with other paints so chalk manure paint or silk you can do it those effects with those paints it's just that some paints lend themselves better to certain finishes than what others do so for me personally if i'm going for a really kind of old rustic distressed look i will reach for terror that's not to say that i couldn't achieve a similar look with silk but I prefer to use silk for one colour, nice, clean, simple finishes, personally. So, in my quest to find the perfect top coat, because I'm quite picky about top coating because I love wax so much, you can't use Bestang wax with Terra. I mean, you can, but it doesn't work great because it's a water-based wax and anything that you kind of have to rub in that's water-based reactivates terra so terra is really easily reactivated until it's sealed and i know you obviously most of you are used to chalk mineral paint and that does reactivate a little bit and you can keep it open by spritzing it with water and not allowing it to dry and blending it and doing things 
what I mean with about terror is if you paint a piece and left it for a year without sealing it and you came back to it in a year and sprayed it with water it would reactivate to the point where you could manipulate it quite a lot you couldn't do that with chalk mineral paint it would just dry and cure and chalk mineral paint is actually really durable without sealing terra has to be sealed it has to be sealed because it's super porous and like i say you can reactivate it so the last thing you want to do is do a piece don't seal it and then it's tiniest bit of water goes on it and you'd reactivate it so it does have to be sealed and it's part of the process now i'm not a top coat fan i'm a wax fan i've said that before so i was like fighting i was like i want to wax i want to wax nothing works nothing that i have got works so best dang wax doesn't work big mom's butter doesn't work hemp oil doesn't work um easy peasy spray wax doesn't work in my opinion you might have had different results but they are not the one the other thing that it does as well is because it dries in such a different color to what you apply it with on on when it goes on wet obviously you some top coats can affect the saturation massively and they can kind of make it look a little bit odd in terms of color so they can they can make it look a, a throw it a weird color so this is why you've got to be super careful with top coats and terra clay paint so what i have found is terra tough now please excuse the tub as you can see she has been used a lot because i've used it a few times and then very quickly realized i absolutely love it so it's dead similar to gator hide um but it's been specially formulated to use with terra now that's not to say you can't use gator hide with terra i have I prefer this because this has got a slightly less sheen level to Gator Hide. Gator Hide is very shiny, which is great if you like a shine. But I, I'm a wax girl and that's got quite a low sheen. So this is the closest thing that I have found. So I'm going to seal this mirror. Now this mirror, whoa, that was very close. I mean, there's not a lot in it, but it would have still made a mess. This has been painted with terror. Now, the other thing to bear in mind, let me just turn my camera on here so I actually remember to record what I'm doing. <laughs> the other thing to bear in mind with Terry that it holds moisture. It holds a lot of moisture. Um, there you go, you can see. This is actually just a plastic mirror. I found this in a charity shop, a couple of quid. It already had all this... 3d detail but it's just made out of plastic and i thought that would be a really cool one to make a little video with so <clears throat> i've just done a really simple kind of two-tone effect the bottom color is galaxy which is absolutely gorgeous it's similar to antebellum blue but more of a more of a blue than a sort of teal if you like and then i've dry brushed the detail with cerulean blue so it's a quite a simple kind of makeover, um, but it's given a nice kind of almost moroccan -y vibe. And obviously once I've cleaned the glass up, which I'm going to scrape off with a knife at the end, because I don't do taping, okay? I don't like masking tape. Um, I think it'll look pretty cool. So I have basically, I've done that. And like I say, terra clay paint holds onto its moisture um more so than other paints i mean i'm used to working with chalk mineral paint and i'd probably leave that overnight if i finished a project in the afternoon i'd leave it till the next day to top coat or wax and it'd be fine with terror you probably want to wait a little bit longer especially if you've layered colors or if there's a couple of coats it holds on to that moisture super well and that can affect how well your top coat goes on um, that's what I found personally anyway so the best way because I always like using the foam and dandy brushes for top coats but I find that a brush works better with terror because you can be a lot sort of you can you can um, put the products on a lot lighter um, with a brush rather than the foam and dandy um, brush pad things the foam pads they kind of tend to drag a little bit. And if you've done lots of layering or blending or done an effect like this dry brushing, although it is, it's really 
kind of subtle because it's only a two-tone kind of look if i was to then sort of really rub this with a water-based top coat that would kind of lose its vibrancy of the dry brush in a little bit and it'd kind of melt into the the darker blue so this is the best technique that i have personally found that's not to say that it's the technique that's just the best technique that i found and you were all so intrigued by terra tough because i spoke so highly of it last week i thought i would show you this it's not going to take me very long to do so i'm not going to keep you for ages today so this brush is completely dry it's also in really good condition which is not something that i can say for all of my brushes they do need a deep clean some of them and what i have found is when they're in really good nick like this one it's fairly new the bristles at the end are super soft that works even better so a good quality synthetic brush that's really soft at the end and a light touch is what i found works best which it basically goes against everything that i normally do because i'm normally quite heavy-handed i normally use wax i normally use it with a sponge so but here we are here we are if we don't do these things that are different then we don't grow and learn different things. So this is a fairly, I wouldn't say it's a new technique, but it's something that I don't use, uh, I haven't used a lot because I just automatically go to wax because I love it. But then if you do things like this, that kind of push you out of your comfort zone a little bit and then it works and, and it's actually quite rewarding. So that was very phil phil philosophical of me, wasn't it then? So tiny little amount of product on here i personally would recommend two to three very thin coats of this because if you try and gloop it on you'll affect the drying time it's going to take ages to dry and you'll just get frustrated with it so really super thin coats and let it fully dry in between so tiny amount of product on there and can you you want to come a little bit closer i've got a tripod here i've got a big table here is that better i'm trying not to like move it around all over the place as well to make you feel feel sick so this is obviously not a flat surface it's got some raised detail but what i'm not going to try and do is work it in too much i'm just pressing on so lightly like i say i am a heavy-handed painter that's just my style but I've kind of had to re-teach re myself to be a little bit lighter with this product. Okay, so can you... I don't know if you can really see. <clears throat> it's gone darker. So it goes back to the colour of the paint is when, when it's wet, basically. And that is darker because clay paint dries a lot lighter than what it goes on when it's wet, if that makes sense. So I'm just trying really hard not to run my brush over the same place. And what you will find is the first coat dries down really, really quickly because the terror obviously is unsealed at this point and it just sucks anything into the paint and just it just, well, it, it'll probably be touch dry. By the time I get round to the other side, it'll probably be touch dry. That's how quick it absorbs the top coat. And I can be a little bit more kind of uh, random with my directions that I'm applying this because obviously there is quite a lot of detail on this particular piece. If you're doing a flatter area, obviously you're not going to be wanting to change the direction of your brush strokes like I'm doing at the moment. I'm just trying to work it into the detail without, without disturbing the dry brushing too much. But what you can do is if you do find that you disturb anything dry brushing wise that you've done, you can seal a coat first so, for example, what I could have done is painted this in the darker blue, which is Galaxy, sealed it with one coat of Terra Tough, and then dry brushed it, which means you're not going to reactivate the darker colour first that, you put, that you've applied first. So you could do that. But I like to live on the edge, and um, we're doing it this way. Um, and if you're careful, and if you've left your piece to dry 
for a couple of days so i think i can't even remember when i painted this it's definitely been drying for two days and i haven't used a vast amount of paint so i know that it has dried down pretty well but if i find that when this is dried i do want to go back in and kind of exaggerate that detail or if anything's kind of been disturbed with my top coating process i can go in and just dry brush over the over the carved detail again um just to kind of enhance it a little bit so the darker colors are actually pretty dark and they stay dark if that makes sense if you use um some of the brighter colors like the yellow daffodil um, pistachio those kind of colors as soon as you apply your top coat you can just it changes the color massively this one not so much i found the darker ones they just must have slightly different i don't know i don't know the technicality of it but they just do so that is all i'm going to do and i'm going to leave that to dry leave it alone don't be tempted to go back if you've spotted any kind of gloops what you can do is just maybe tidy it up with like the tiniest bit of your brush or maybe like a little um, cotton board or something. Try not to go back because obviously that's my brush on the floor. Once that top coat is, go is gone on, sorry if you make, I've just had to put you over the top of the tripod. Um, once that top coat has gone on, you are going to, it, that is now kind of, if I rubbed that, it'd come off. The blue paint would come off. If I just rubbed it with my finger or my hand, or if I went round and round and round and round with a brush, it'd start to reactivate the terror. So you want to just get your first coat on and leave it alone. Don't be tempted to go and, and touch anything up. <coughs> and this has got very similar properties to Gator Hide. So it's water resistant. It's, the, it's kind of as durable as Gator Hide, if you like, but it's just not got quite as quite as much of a sheen and that's it that's it i know i've showed you on a little mirror i know there's a lot of detail going on so it's not like top coat in a big flat surface which is obviously a lot of people's kind of bugbear um but i just wanted to show you how good the product is and how easy it is and how quick it is to apply so you can see it drying down now some of the areas are dr touch dry um already and i'm actually going to be i think i'm going to be putting a glaze on here as well um just to add a little bit more dimension to it um does the paint transfer on the brush with the first coat it can do yeah you can pick up a little bit but that's that happens with pretty much everything so as well as dog hair and bits of fluff because my paintbrush has just fallen on the floor there is a little bit of blue on here but not a huge amount, a little bit, look. But that happens with everything. If I'm waxing, um, the colour always the the colour that I've wa the colour that I've painted last always starts to to kind of you get a little bit of lift with that, even with wax. So that is fairly fairly common. But drying time is really important with Terra. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. It's not. I know a lot of people are put off um clay paint because they're like what is it i don't understand why would i use it over over chalk um but until you use it you kind of i was a bit like that i was a bit like i don't i don't understand because we don't really have a clay paint brand over here well there is but it's not really that well known um so i've never really tried it let me just turn that off so it doesn't oh no there we go. Doesn't wipe my battery. Um, <coughs> I've never really, until Dixie Bell bought out Terra, I've never really tried clay paint for furniture. Um, so I was a bit like, mm, don't really understand. I'm pretty sure I can do everything with chalk mineral paint. Um, but I have found a use for it. And that use is to make things look really old and, and genuinely, authentically old. I... I am in constant search to, to make things look old. A lot of people paint furniture to make it look new again. Um, I do the opposite. I want to make things look like they are 100 years old and they've been thrown down a garden and set on fire. 
Um, well, that's a bit extreme, probably not, but you catch my drift. Oh. I That's what I, the kind of thing. So if you are one of those people that love a perfectly smooth finish, one color finish, absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. There is different paint out there for you, AKA silk. Silk's banging for that job. Don't get me wrong. I've got a commission coming in tonight, if Andy remembers to pick it up. And they just want their bedside tables painting one color. I am not gonna use Terra for that. I'm not gonna make my life difficult trying to use Terra for that. There's no point. If they said, can you do a seven color blend and make it boho and layered and make it look old, I'd be like, I will be reaching for Terra. So I'm gonna use Silk for the commission because it makes sense. So yeah, I hope that helps a little, a little bit. I just wanted to quickly show you Terra Tough. I wanted to show you the sheen level, although it is still drying. I actually think the sheen level is comparable to a waxed finish. I think. So this has only got one top, one layer of the top coat on. And like I say, it is a little bit still wet in some places. Um, but can you see the kind of sheen? It's really pretty. It's really, really nice. And I have actually got a piece painted in my living room that's painted in terra, super chippy. And I've um, sealed it with terra tough and then put wax over the top of that with like brown wax to, to, to add a bit of antiquing effect, if you like. Um, and it does look really similar to a wax finish, I've got to say. Um, and I am very particular about my wax finishes if you haven't noticed that before. Um, so I hope that helps. This, like I say, I have, I am gonna be recording a really short little video for Dixbell's YouTube channel on how I did this mirror makeover. It's really simple, really easy, but I am gonna be adding a glaze to this. Another coat of Terra Tough, then a black glaze, which has been reformulated. So it is a slightly different formula to the other one um, that I've had previously. It's a little bit richer, it's a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna be putting that on this. <coughs> so if you did wanna see how I did this mirror, um, make sure you are subscribed to the Dixieville YouTube channel. And if you wanna test out any of the terrors, what I highly recommend is going along to a Dixieville retailer, having a look at their kind of setup, and maybe picking up a few of the four ounce pots. Number one, the super cute pots. They are really sweet. Um, they go a long way and it just allows you to kind of get used to the paint a little bit and experiment. I always pick up small pieces to experiment with stuff on. Little stools, chairs, mirrors, anything that I can get my hands on, trays, anything like that to do kind of experimental pieces on. Um, and I swear, if you like an artistic finish or a blended finish or a layered finish or a finish that makes your piece look old or authentically chippy, you will enjoy Terra, I promise. So, I think that's all I've got to show you for this week. Um, but I wanted to show you that before, number one, I forgot, and while it was fresh in my mind, because I know when I mentioned it last week, everyone was like, Terra Tough, show us what, show us what. So I hope that helped a little bit. Um, if you've got any specific questions, then you can always drop me a message on any of my social media platforms. I don't always see the comments here, like afterwards, um, unless you tag me, which I don't even know if you can. Can you? I don't even know with YouTube, to be honest. Anyway, if you want me, so social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, if you're that way inclined. Um, and that's it. So I'll be doing a different project next week, something completely different. I'll show you what I'm up to, or I might have something in the works. I don't, I don't even know yet. I don't even know. For now, I'm gonna try and get over this head cold. Um, because it's been three weeks, which is ridiculous. If anybody's got any uh, ideas on how I can get rid of a lingering head cold, then please let me know in the comments. Um, and thank you for watching today. Um, it's not been super entertaining, but hopefully I'll be back to full health soon. And have a lovely day. Bye.